the major headlines on Capitol Hill this morning with Senate Republicans pushing for an impeachment trial of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas as President Biden and former President Trump make a trip to the border today. Last night, we also learned Senator Mitch McConnell will in fact step down as GOP leader in the upper chamber. And joining us this morning is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Good morning to you. Always good to see you. Good Thanks morning. Good to see you. Was this long overdue for Senator McConnell? I think it was expected by so many people that he would serve through this term. You know, in the Senate, we elect our leadership for the two-year period of time. And I don't think it came as a surprise. And uh, we will put our focus on taking that Senate majority and winning the White House. And then after that is done, we will turn our attention to leadership elections should he, for the Republicans. Should he resign altogether? Leader McConnell is going to make his decisions. I think it's appropriate that he announce his plans and that he continue his service, and that's up to him and the people of Kentucky. Who would you like to see step up in that position? Right now, I am focused on making certain that we take the majority and that will be our focus until we win in November and then we'll turn our attention to finding someone that will be the Republican leader and hopefully the Republican majority leader. Senator Blackburn, I know in a Senate trial you would vote to convict Homeland Security Secretary yes. Alejandro Mayorkas. You released a statement after the House impeached Mayorkas writing. Under the Biden administration, there have been over 8.8 .8 million illegal encounters at the border. In 2023, ICE deported only 142,000 people, less than 5% of all illegal crossings. Secretary Mayorkas is not just failing at his job. He is upending the foundation of our democracy, the rule of law. At every opportunity, Secretary Mayorkas has led DHS to prioritize making illegal immigration legal and putting lawbreakers ahead of law-abiding Americans. Senator, why is illegally entering our country no longer a crime? And it is baffling to the American people. This is why border security is the number one issue because people are seeing all of this footage of people streaming across the border and then they're seeing the rate of crime go up in their communities. They are witnessing fentanyl that is now the number one killer of Americans 18 to 45 years of age. They are witnessing what is happening with human trafficking, with sex trafficking, and they're hearing their local sheriff and their local police chief say, look, we're doing all we can, but until the border is secure, we're not going to get our arms around the drug issue and the human trafficking issue. And people are saying, we've had it, enough of this. They, we have communities in Tennessee that have gangs that have never had gangs. And now those gangs are present. They are trying to recruit people that live in the communities. They're carrying out carjackings and smash and grabs. And people want to see something done. And they hear from local law enforcement, it all starts with securing that border. It would take a simple majority by Democrats to dismiss that impeachment trial. Senator, what are you hearing at this point? And, and what's your thoughts that they do have the votes to try and not even yeah. bring this to trial in the Senate? It is inappropriate that they would try to table this and not bring it forward as a trial. That is the Senate's responsibility to conduct that process after the House has issued the impeachment. And the American people are baffled as to why we have a Homeland Security Secretary who does not believe in securing the homeland. And they want something done about this. They're tired of seeing kids take one pill and they're dead because of fentanyl. They are furious with the way drug dealers have moved into communities and the way gangs are roaming the streets in communities and they want something done. We know that President Biden currently right now headed to Brownsville, Texas, where he will speak there. And we know that former President Trump is gonna be in Eagle Pass, Texas 
What was your thoughts when you when you first heard President Biden was actually considering executive action and the very Trump era policies he dismantled to stop the border crisis and now headed to the border the same day as Trump? Well, you're right. He dismantled those uh, procedures that had given us a secured border. And in his first 100 days, Joe Biden took 94 executive actions and orders that opened the border and made our immigration law less secure. And those were his processes. Now, he is considering re reinstating some of that because this is the number one issue with the American people, the secure border. And now he is going to Brownsville, which interesting choice, I'll have to tell you, because that is not where they have had the flood of migrants coming in. That has been over at Eagle Pass. So why do you think he chose and, to go there? So why do you think then, do you think he chose to go to Brownsville as opposed to- Because he can go get the photo op. He can talk about having gone to the border, even though it took him 50 years to get there. But like he did the last time that he went down there, he's probably going to the wrong address. He's not going to get in the car and go out with the border patrol and actually go right down to the river's edge and run a parole, a patrol with the border patrol and see what it is that they are facing. He is not going to do that. They'll clean up Brownsville like they cleaned up the last time that he went to the border. And he's probably not going to see the influx of migrants that if he went over to Eagle Pass or he went to Arizona that he would see. But this is a check the box. It's an election year. And I think it's really interesting. Donald Trump will be warmly received by the Border Patrol because he listened to them. They said they needed a physical barrier. He said, great, we'll build a wall. Joe Biden has not listened to them. He has not had their back. He has not given them what they've asked for. And they've already issued a statement kind of panning his visit and calling it too little, too late. And Senator Blackburn, you have been to the border. Very quickly, describe what your experience was like when you were there. My experience has been over the years that I've been going to the border, going out on patrol, walking through the pathway, seeing where these migrants are dropping water bottles and camo clothing and carpet shoes, and actually watching and working with Border Patrol as people come across and they apprehend them. And the illegal immigrants throw their hands up and say asylum, claiming asylum. And then watching as you see as some of these NGOs come in and provide um, at taxpayer expense, uh, clothing, food, uh, a ticket to wherever they're wanting to go, seeing these migrants get on a flight, being processed separately by TSA, not going through security, having to present their ID and be scanned, but uh, putting them on, on commercial flights at taxpayer expense. That's what I've seen. Senator Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, thank you for joining us this morning. Good to have be a, with you. Have a great weekend.